and it says the address is 2230 First Avenue, Seattle. I'll go ahead and just click on Bing or tap on Bing Maps. And what that does is it scans the email, it identifies that there's a, an address there, and it puts this map in place. Pretty cool. It's also interactive, though. So I can go navigate through it. I can tap if I want to go deeper. You get the idea here. I can zoom right in if I'd like. Just a simple example, but a great one of how we can harness the power of the cloud here inside the office applications. There's another one I'll show you just real quickly, suggested appointments. Similar concept, looks at the email message. There's, you see someone suggesting maybe we should get together at a particular time. I can just go ahead and click Save to Calendar here and jump to the calendar itself. So a whole new office experience really taking advantage of the power of Windows 8. Now, when we talk about Windows 8, Steve mentioned that there's a whole new design style for applications. Formerly known as Metro applications, we're talking about Windows 8 style applications here. And we've got two that we're starting with for Office in this release. We've picked Link and OneNote for communication scenarios and note-taking experiences because they're perfect for these tablet types of devices where you want an immersive experience for people that are on the go. So let me give you a look at what the OneNote application will look like. Now, for folks that aren't familiar with OneNote, let me first just talk a little bit about what it is. It's our digital note-taking application. As you can see here, you can keep all kinds of different content in OneNote. I've got things like text, of course, pictures. Steve referenced inking is available here. There's content from the web. You can see you have things like task lists. Students love OneNote because I'll go to a student page as an example. You can see that you can keep all kinds of lecture information or your classroom notes. You can do inking and so forth. Businesses love it. Lots of scenarios in business environments where people want to be able to take notes. Maybe insert PowerPoint presentations into OneNote. You can easily mark them up that way. People can have collaborative authoring sessions on this page itself. And then consumers use it for all sorts of different things, for grocery lists, for task lists, uh, for vacation planning. In this case, even things for recipes. Now, with OneNote, we tried to make it easy to consume content in this new Windows 8 style of applications. If I want to go ahead and use my finger to navigate through all my notebooks, it's just really easy. As you saw, I was able to go up and down with my notebook. If I want to enter content, there's a bunch of different ways to do that. Of course, I can use mouse and keyboard. Uh, but we also, of course, enable the pen and stylus. So I can go ahead and write anywhere I want to over my notes. If I say, hey, you know, this 930 is wrong, I'll just cross that out. Say, so let's get together at 10 o'clock. My handwriting is terrible here. A little nervous. I can circle things that I think are important. I can annotate on the map itself if we want to meet down here at those particular points. I can do those sorts of things. You get the idea. Now, of course, if I need to be able to uh, format or edit my notes, we've made that simple too. And there's a great new capability that we have here called the radial menu. And with the radial menu, which I'll pop up right here, I have all the commands that I need at my fingertips. So if I want to go ahead and say bold, Saturday's walking tour, I just tap bold. If I want to change the color, I'll tap on the color wheel, and I can pick a color. Who knew there were so many shades of blue or purple? My favorite control here is the font size one. It looks like a speedometer. If I want to increase the font size, let's make it big, 36 point. Real simple to do using the new radial menu. Now, Talked a little bit about touch, talked a little bit about using my fingers. What's also great about these devices, these modern devices, is that oftentimes they'll have integrated cameras with them. And so people will typically use OneNote and often will uh, capture an image, maybe on a whiteboard, uh, maybe something that they've seen as they're walking down the, walking down the street as they're vacation planning, lots of different types of scenarios. One I want to show you is, uh, let's say I wanted to go grab uh, some content. I've got a, a quick, a quick uh, helicopter tour here for San Francisco. I'll show you how easy this will be and how we've integrated one, OneNote with the Windows 8 experience and the camera in this device. I'll bring up that radial menu again. And I'll tap camera. And let's go ahead and just minimize this. And you can see I've got this on my desk here. I'll go ahead and just tap it. That'll take a quick picture of it. I can go ahead and crop it. Let's say I just want to capture this part here. I want to remember the San Francisco helicopter piece. Tap OK. And I can just drop that right into my notebook. Real simple. And then if I want to move it around or resize it, I can just go pick it up with my finger, drag and drop, put it where I want it to be. So a great example here of the immersive style of applications that we can deliver with Office, taking advantage of what Windows 8 uh, can provide for us. 
Now, for the next part of this demonstration, I want to show you a couple of things about how we talk about Office being in the cloud. This is a hugely important part of the release, as Steve talked about. We're transitioning the Office business as a cloud service. And to highlight this, I want to show you a couple of examples using uh, the new Microsoft Word. The scenario here is that I want to show you uh, how we can do some sharing scenarios.